right now I'm going to uh, try to get this mounted onto here. What I've got to do is get it flush at the bottom because this didn't have any holes in it. So we use these two holes that they've got pre-drilled to, to line it up or to, to go by because it takes an eight millimeter bolt. So try to center it on both sides and get it flush at the bottom and clamp it on there. That looks pretty good. Got a couple C clamps on there. This cast housing is not square. These sides are not square to the end on either side, and even the thickness here is different from over here. So I can't really turn it upside down in the drill press and hang it on something because it's not parallel to each other. So I think what I'll do is clamp it to this aluminum plate and see if I can rig up something on the small drill press to lay this on the table, swing the drill press off to the side and drill the holes from underneath. So we'll see what happens with that. The clamp on the side was in the way so I had to put another clamp on the end here in the hole Take that one off so I can get close enough without the uh, clamp hitting the uh, drill. Chuck. Well, there's one hole. I'm using just a four millimeter drill bit which is the same size as these pilot holes were. Now if I can figure out how to get this other hole. decided if I move this uh, table on around a little further I can get this hole right here. Three down, one to go. Okay. Now we've got our four pilot holes. Now that we got the uh, pilot hole drilled, we can drill the through hole with a bolt. We'll put the bolt through this cast part and drill and tap the plate to screw it to.
we drilled those four holes eight millimeter for the eight millimeter bolts. Now I got to look up and see what size uh, drill bit to drill the tapped hole. In fact, I think I got to go get a uh, eight millimeter tap. I don't have one. I went to the hardware store and got an eight millimeter tap and a seventeen sixty four drill bit for it. I'm gonna drill and tap these uh, four holes for the spindle mount. Well, let's bolt this thing on here and see if it's going to line up properly. I made a mark on here earlier which side goes where. While well, I was at the hardware store, I went ahead and got some uh, shorter bolts. The bolts they sent were just a little bit too long. Right now I'm going to mount the two uh, linears on the uh, plate for the Z-axis. Takes 1032 screws. Well, the next thing to do is mount the uh, bracket mounting plate with a ball nut screw. Goes on there like that. Take six screws. Now that we've got the mounting bracket on the ball screw, we'll put these, uh, got the bearing blocks on each end, they just push on there, slide on, and we'll mount the bearing blocks to the plate. Go 
put these in, leave them just a hair loose to, until we get the other end in to make sure we can get it straight up and down and perpendicular. Next thing to do is mount the stepper motor mount on the top of this plate. as far as we can go until we get the replace replacement bracket for this that goes on this plate. It goes on there like that. And then that connects on the ball screw for the x-axis. And all that's got to be mounted on here before we can mount this plate to here. Uh, this plate will be mounted to the ball screw and the cross extrusions between the side plates on the carriage and then this will go on last. So until I get the new piece in to replace this, I might be at a standstill. <laughs> <laughs> 